This is the first video of a series called How to Learn Guitar Chords. In this series, I'm going to take a theory-based approach to give you everything you need to know about how to learn guitar chords from the ground up. From basic guitar chords for beginners all the way to advanced concepts like inversions and chord extensions, I want you to understand chords on the guitar. I want you to know where they come from, how to talk about them, how to label them, how to manipulate them so you can have creative control and not just find yourself playing physical chord shapes without understanding why. You can check the description for a full list of what's going to be covered in this series. And let's jump into this first episode of How to Learn Guitar Chords, which is going to give you the basic guitar chords for beginners and beyond. All right, the first thing I want you to notice here is that it's just the alphabet. Straight up, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so that's an easy way to remember. Those are all your major chords, your most basic major chords to know. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, all major. The minor side of things, and I have it separated here above that red line now, is major, below is minor. Um, these are also A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, some kind of A, some kind of B, some kind of C. And why I say that is because we have a C sharp, we have a G sharp, and we have an F sharp there. So um, it does change a little bit for what the basic chords are, but you have seven each, seven major and seven minor, and they're all connected to some kind of A, some kind of B, C, D, E, F, and G. The reason I'm giving you these as the most basic chords to learn is not actually because they're the easiest. Now, some of them are quite easy. You'll see E minor as a very common, here's your very first chord to learn ever. And if this is, if you're literally picking up the guitar for your first time ever, that's a great chord to try to play for your first chord. Um, and then so that's only two notes. A is three notes. A lot of these are three notes. You know, E major is a great one to play with. But if you're really starting out, all of these will just seem really hard. You know, C actually will be quite hard. You can accidentally mute some of these strings here. And G is, is quite a stretch. So none of them have to be easy. And I'm actually not really saying these are the easy chords, but these are the basic chords to understand. Um, this line here is a bar, which means you're putting your finger all along those strings and playing this note and this note with the same finger. These are notoriously hard. These bar chords are very hard. People really grapple with them. And I'm throwing these out there as basic chords for beginners and basic chords for everyone to know really well, because the sooner the better that you start grappling with them. When you try one of these bar chords, for example, this F, um, what might happen is that, say, this one, less so this top one, but either of those will just not make a sound. You just won't be able to be putting the pressure down to get them and you're getting buzzing and it's ugly and all that stuff. So take it easy, don't push it for too long, but start trying to wrap your fingers around these shapes. Um, this F sharp minor kind of shape down here, exact same shape next to it, uh, G sharp minor. Um, those are also really hard. You're, you're gonna hear like this note, which is a very important note of the chord. You're gonna hear that um, getting muted sometimes if you pluck through each note and kind of test it out. But I want you to remember that with these are especially hard, but they're so powerful because they're movable. So the harder they are, I mean, they're here as, as an important chord shape for a reason. If you can play that, you can literally play every minor chord that exists. You can play every minor chord with that shape, or you can play every minor chord with that shape because they don't have open strings, like these open, most of the other chords showing that they have open strings involved, which you can't move around. The other thing about these chords is that they're all triads. So sometimes, you know, if you're thinking beginner chords and, and easy chords, there are some easy chords that are seven chords. You know, a D seven chord is no harder than a D chord, or B seven is a common kind of beginner open string chord as well. So it's not about that because I'm taking this theory approach. I'm giving you all of the triads, the major and minor chords. And the triads are chords that are made up of three notes only, and those notes are labeled the root, the third, and the fifth. And don't worry about what that means now because that's exactly what we're going to go over as we go through this series. So you don't have to master these, but I'm just recommending these are the basic chords to start playing and just play through them. They will sound um, it will sound decent if you play through in order, but this is not meant to be even chords that sound good together, like they're not necessarily in a key. Um, a lot of them will sound great together, but that's not the way they're grouped either. So just start playing with making sure you understand them. And it's nice because we can just think alphabetically A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And we do have to remember the sharps here and where those go. Now I'm going to play through each chord so you can hear what they sound like, and also so I can recommend which left hand fingers I think you should use and what your options are for fingering. Alright, this first chord is the A chord. Mm -hmm. 
is the most common way to fret this. You have your fingers one, two, and three. I also want you to try doing two, three, and four, though this is a good version to have prepared so your first finger's free. Very important that you do not play the sixth string, so you're strumming the five strings. Okay, the next chord is B. If you take that fingering of the A that we just did, which is two, three, and four fingers, and you scoot that up two frets, you're gonna actually need those for this chord and put your first finger on fret two. An alternative fingering for this is to flatten your third finger on strings four, three, and two, and keep your first finger on the root of the chord, which is that second fret. In this chord, you're not playing the sixth string and you're not playing the first string, just the middle four strings. The next chord is C, one of the most common chords of all time on the guitar. Not necessarily easy though, because you can still accidentally mute strings. We're not playing the sixth string, we're playing the top five strings. And I just want you to use your first three fingers and keep your pinky free on this one. D is the next chord, also using your fingers one, two, and three and keeping your pinky free. You can also try doing this with your first finger free and fingers two, three, and four. That's a great way to practice it as well. E is the next chord. First way to do this is with fingers one, two, and three and your pinky free, all six strings. And then I want you to also do this with these three fingers because of the next chord. So the next chord is F and you're gonna scoot those th three fingers up, fingers two, three, and four, and put your first finger down covering all six strings because it needs to hit this bottom string as well as the highest string up here. And that's what a bar is when you're playing multiple notes with the same finger. This is the same chord as E, just moved. And G is the last major chord. Just play as written from the diagram and you're going, I'd like you to have your pinky on the top note instead of your third finger on the top note. Okay, now for the minor chords, A minor. For A minor, you can just use fingers one, two, and three, top five strings. For B minor, it's gonna be as if we're using these three fingers, two, three, four on the A minor shape, just like we did the E shape. These are the same physical shape, just moving on a string set. And so we're gonna move this up two frets and then we're gonna bar just the five strings. We're not playing the lowest string. There's B minor. C sharp minor is the exact same thing, moved up two frets. D minor, I want you to play with your pinky on string two, not your third finger on string two. Your third finger on string two can be a little cramped, so I want you to use your pinky. If you're gonna use ornamentation where you might put your pinky down on the first string and play with that sometime, then you can keep the pinky free for that. E minor is the next chord. This is nice, it's just two fingers, two frets. I want you to play it with your first two fingers as well as your middle two fingers. Practice it both ways. F sharp minor is next. It's just like we have an E minor shape that we move up and have to bar to move the open strings along with it. And G sharp minor is the last chord, same exact shape up two frets. If you wanna download a PDF that has all these chord shapes written out in it and many, many more chord shapes that you might enjoy exploring, I have a free booklet that I made called Chords with Color that's all about taking these basic chord shapes and making them a little more interesting and more colorful by just moving a few notes around. And what's really cool about that is that many of these fancy alternative chord options are actually much easier to play and they include more open strings and they just sound gorgeous. You can just go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chords with color to get that free PDF download or click the link in the description. And that's it for this first episode in the series called How to Learn Guitar Chords. In the next episode, we're gonna talk about where chords come from so we can start adding labels to these notes that exist in the chords and expanding our vocabulary and our control even further. So I'll see you in the next lesson and happy practicing.